Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Brunches and I've just got myself to the NEC in Birmingham in the UK. There's a big, big, big craft exhibition going on as you can see behind me. And um, I was managed to get myself a uh, one of those press passes. So I shall be going around and talking to people who sell yarn and all that good stuff. And I'll be back soon. Bye! He was carrying, um, he carried my trolley, my spotty trolley, my spotty trolley around all day. And um, yeah, there's, that's the halls inside. I'll just turn you around and see. It's a big exhibition centre in uh, the UK. There's a lot of people in there. Found lots of lovely yarns and stuff that um well i could have bought it all really bought lots of other things some different weaving things i've never sort of tried before so i shall be showing you those when i when i get home with a nice cup of tea so um yeah i've got lots to show you yeah we're just going to get the uh the bus back to the car park and go home and i can show you all the good stuff okay thanks for watching see you soon bye hi everyone so um if i plan this right you've just seen um the footage that i did and my husband took while we were out at the NEC and now I'm going to show you what I got <laughs> so uh, yeah this is like a haul video yeah haul video the yarn first I think I was very restrained so from the person who had that um, big bundle of yarn on the on the ground which was literally just kind of grabbed my legs I'm going in it's like yarn diving I've got some great yarn from there great prices too in England yarn is very expensive and um yeah and limited i would say i mean if you look on if you look online then you're going to find all sorts of different yarns but it's not the same as being able to go and look at them hold them and touch them and see what they feel like um in my opinion anyway so hobbycraft is a shop in the uk which is sort of like our main chain and they they don't carry a massive range to be honest and you do really need to go online to get different types of yarn and I find that their prices also is very 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 expensive so going to the place NEC today is just you know great because you get to see the different types of yarn that are available online which you might not necessarily want to buy because you don't know what they feel like or look like so anyway so I got this bag of one two three four five ten balls of what weight is it uh 50 grams 50 gram balls and it's um it's a double knit i believe yeah double knit uh cedar montana yeah never never seen this before but it's got a lovely kind of orange pink red mauve variation to it but it's very subtle it's not too you know not too much but um love that sort of um where is it there love that sort of um color combination when it goes sort of slightly orange dark yellow and this was 39 pounds 99 
reduced to 16.99 to buy yarn in the uk is expensive but um that is a great price that i've never tried before but i've always wanted to but it's so expensive here that i've never tried it before but they were selling these at um three pounds at the show a ball it is regina hand dye effect yarn i don't um, know what weight it is i think it's a sock yarn yeah it's a sock yarn and it um you use a two to three mil hook on this but the color i don't know if you can tell because i've got this red blanket behind me so but it's a very lovely silvery blue pale colour with some um, moving into a mauve and pinks down here. Very subtle, so I've got three balls of those because I really love that. And I've got um, this, which is they call, it's called Sari Ribbon Louisa Harding Yarns, which is just beautiful, I think. Again, no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I had to have it. And this was £4, which I thought was a great price at the show. Um, does it say what weight it is? I don't know if it will. It says it's 100 grams, 132 yards. And they recommend a 8mm hook or needles with that. But it's got lovely peach, blue, silver and this silver metallic thread going through it which I really love and I've got that mainly to go with something else that I bought which I'll show you in a minute but um yes really like that and then I've got this <laughs> and I know this is no this is not new to anyone this is pom is it pom pom yarn and it's when you this the stuff you make those really fabulous scarves out of and it's like this now I've knitted with a similar fabric before for a similar yarn before and um, found that to be you know very simple to do but I've never crocheted with it <clears throat> so I don't know if I'll be able to I, and that's mainly why I got it because I wanted to try it again but it is quite expensive it's normally sort of between six and nine pounds a ball in the UK and they, these were being sold at three pounds a ball so I got two to try it with so I know some people on Instagram have asked if I would do a video on that. So, yes, I will do a knitting video. <laughs> I know. And if I've worked out how to do crochet with it, then I will obviously show you how to do that. But I'll have to sit down and work that out. So that would be a shame. I'll have to sit down and work that out. <laughs> I'll look forward to doing that. That's um, This is a 100 gram ball and 21 metres on here and it says an 8 to 9 mil hook so or needles I guess because it is I suppose it is designed to be knitted with but um yeah I'm going to try and crochet with that so that was from that stall with the big bundles of yarn and that was called Black Sheep Craft Barn and I'm going to put links down below to the the sellers, the shops and stuff. So they're based in Warrington in the UK. So if you're there or near there, go and visit them. They've got a it says tea shop now open. So you know what could you go wrong with yarn and tea? Perfect. Talking of tea, I'm going to have a sip. Now I've bought myself this because I love this sort of French, is it French knitting they call it? Well they call it a wool winder I think don't they? A wonder knitter. This is by, who's this by? I think it's Clover. Is it Clover? I think it is. It doesn't say on the packet but it looks like Clover packaging doesn't it? Yeah so you've got two attachments here and if you want me to do videos on these things, then how I use them, then let me know in the, in the description box below because I can happily do video. I mean, I don't have to just do crochet videos twice. So does the light keep coming in and out? Sorry. So yes, if you want me to do a video on how I use these things, then please just let me know and I will do that. That'd be, I would love to do that. Um, yeah, so I got that. 
and these I got yeah this is clover definitely because it's got the logo in it but it's the same sort of packaging isn't it so I'm guessing is that I'm guessing a clover anyway yes a thimble because I was sewing the other night and I managed to really stick a, a needle right in to my, to my poor little thumb and I've never really got on with thimbles but these I've never seen before and they are a silicone bit that goes around your, your finger or thumb and then it's got this nice metal bit at the top which is perfect so I think I'll get on with that better than a, a complete metal thimble I've tried leather ones as well and I didn't really get on with those so each to their own as they say Colshaw accessories again I will put the links down below and everyone is really friendly and really chatty at this um, NEC show so hobby crafts um, at the NEC and I think they do one at the XL um, in London and I think they do one in Glasgow as well so I will put links to their website down below as well but um, yeah it's a great it's a great day and it's um it's not all not all yarns and stitches and quilting and stuff you know it's got fashion textiles textiling handmade felts beads buttons quilting fabrics and then in another hall it's just completely dedicated to kind of paper craft I would say you know sort of quilling card making stamping mixed media you know I could have spent all day in there and spent all my money in there but other stall I bought from um, Juco and there's their card weaving and making textures basically textured fabric which you know different to what I normally do but I like to try different things I don't just do crochet so here I've got um, a card loom kit so weave your own fabric and um, it's all really set up ready to go two lovely ladies on the stool were showing me all the stuff that they've been making with this and I fell in love with it I had to have it and um, yes Juco design they are uh, Suitable for ages 8 to 100. So there you go. So that's a weaving loom, card weave, loom, card loom kit. And also from them I got weaving sticks kit. So you basically have these three wooden needles, which you can see here, but they have this sort of hole and a loop through, and you put fabric, sorry, you put yarn through these loops and the length of yarn that you want to make an item with is the length that you attach. So obviously I've never tried this before and I'm not, I have not done it before so I'm probably talking nonsense but that's what they were showing me and I need to read the instructions and make it myself but Again, all these things I'm showing you if you want me to do videos on them please let me know because I'm gonna be having fun playing with these anyway so it'll just give me an excuse now this one looks totally boring and dull but um, I really need to show you this in action to show you what it does but it basically you get seven yarns we've got eight slots on this bit of um, MDF you got seven slots and you put um, so you've got eight slots and you put seven pieces of yarn down through the middle of here and you tie a knot and then you basically you're going to weave them together to make a cord so um <laughs> apart from the yarn that I've bought I seem to have bought weaving and cord makers so um yeah a bit of a theme there but they they all came from the same place and obviously I'm going to put the links to the website down below but they are as I say, jucodesigns.co.uk. So I'm really excited to be trying these and I love trying new things. 
So yes, that's basically all I got. So I was very restrained, <laughs> I thought. That was nice. Um, so yeah, I had a really great time and my, my lovely husband, bless him, carried the um the goods around for me and in, in the shopping trolley, which I think I've shown a picture of. If I haven't, I'll put it in now. But yes, that's it now. Um I shall be filming some videos to upload soon and show to you new things. Don't forget, you can leave me requests. I will gladly attempt anything that you ask me to do. And watch out for a giveaway video because I've just gone over 5,000 subscribers and I'm very excited and very happy and thankful. I'm very grateful to receive 5,000 subscribers. I never imagined I'd get a thousand, let alone 5,000. So watch out for a little giveaway video that will be coming up very soon. And um, yeah, thank you so much for your support and watching and um, thanks for letting me share my goodies with you. And do, if you get the chance, go and visit the NEC or any of the Hobby Crafts shows. They are brilliant. They do have a very wide range of crafts. It's not just all about crochet and yarn. So Yes, I shall see you very soon and thank you very much for listening and watching and um, take care for now. Bye bye.